Hey, good morning, everybody. Travis Purchase in here. Sorry, I put my glove on. Hold on. Coming to you from Holt Park, Vernon, Texas. No, it's not fire. I'm out here training. 6.30 in the morning. It's cold. It's in the 50s. I don't know. It ain't that cold. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I'm out here doing what I'm doing. Look around. There ain't nobody, nobody else out here. It's Saturday morning by 6.30. And some of you may be asking yourself, well, how come I'm out here in full bunker gear running two miles down this dirt track? Good question. I'm asking myself the same one. <laughs> nah, but for real, you know, I'm out here training not because I have to. Well, at least not in the eyes of other people. I have to for myself for a few reasons. One, I just got hired with a full-time city uh, probationary position. And uh, I want to make sure that that first year I'm at my absolute best to prove what kind of man I am to them and also to myself to represent them well. And it's just how I am. You have to make yourself that way. You know, I can't come out and give 25, 30, 50, 80, 90 percent. I gotta hit 100. I gotta get 120, 130, 140, 150, 200 percent. Because that's who I built myself into being through years of training. I think I've been working out religiously. I mean, minimum three, usually six, seven days, whatever it is, a week for, I mean, shoot the past. Since I was 21 years old, I'm 30 now, nine years. And before that, martial arts, six days a week, surfing every day in Hawaii. I mean, look, I was fortunate enough to be born into a family that valued physical fitness. Father's a martial arts teacher. But you know what? That's all great and well and good. But when it comes down to it, it's not him out here running. It's me, you know? It's always you against yourself. And that's really what I wanted to talk about. Sometimes when you're training and you hit that wall, you know you set a goal. You know, I came out here to run two miles. Actually, I came out here to run one mile, but I felt pretty good, so I decided to make it two. I made that decision three quarters of the mile in I'm tired I'm doing push-ups I'm doing sit-ups I just did 100 push-ups 100 sit-ups every quarter mile stop drop 250 whatever it was you know and by the end I'm thinking to myself man I don't know if I want to keep going and run that extra mile that I said you know I only came down here to run one maybe I can call it good at that that little voice in your head comes on start telling you what you can or can't do or what you should or shouldn't do but you have to remember in that moment you have a choice you can either choose to give a little bit to give in to that voice and to say you know what I'm good I worked out some it's all good go home but you know what that's a slippery slope my friend because when does it end you know sure it's one little thing now it's another little thing later and another little thing later and as these choices come up in life because it's not just working out it's cleaning your room it's doing your homework it's training it's everything it's going that extra mile for your life for your wife for your loved one for your kids show them that you love them that you go that extra mile and do that little things the little things are the big things especially in relationships but in training too because that's where you develop that mindset that's where you don't give yourself an inch. If you said you're gonna run two miles, you fucking run two miles. You don't care what it takes, you do it. Because that's how you train your mind. That's how you develop that warrior mentality. That mentality, nah. I'm not gonna listen to that little voice in my head that tells me I shouldn't do it. That voice is a liar. That voice doesn't know what I'm capable of. And I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna prove to myself that I can do it. And not only do it, but do it strong and do it proud. And that's what it takes, man. That's all it is. Every day, those little choices. You think you you decide to do 50 push-ups, 
You get to 30, you feeling bad, keep going, man. Just get that 50. Even if you gotta rest, you do whatever it takes because at the end of the day, it's about getting the job done. It's about saving those people. It's about saving that property. It's about being the best person you can be. And if you can't do that, I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna have to start somewhere and start small and build your way up because it doesn't happen overnight. This is 10 years in the making to be where I am today. I used to think I trained for, I don't know why I trained. I trained to look good, I trained to feel good, I trained to find a woman, whatever it may be, it changes. But you know what, all that was for this moment, right here, right now, to develop that mindset that says keep going, to make yourself proud, to make something of yourself. So I just wanted to leave that with you. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay strong out there. Keep training, keep doing your thing, and chase your dream. So I'm telling you, you can make it a reality. Eight months of hard work, training, money, sacrificing relationships, everything. Got me to where I am today, starting April 1st. It's a full-time firefighter. I'd never been more proud to be able to say that about any job. So I'll leave that with you. And yeah, stay strong out there, guys.